Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Home is Where Our Heart Is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. Proud authors of the book, Knowledge to Forage. And today we're going to teach you how to make some nourishing nettle hair tonic. Yes, yeah, stinging nettles are amazing for your hair. They can strengthen your hair. They can remove dandruff. Yeah, they combat greasy hair. And they even promote hair growth. They can even reduce hair loss. Oh, there's so many things that stinging nettles can do for you. The wonders of stinging nettles. So come with us and we'll show you how to make it. This recipe only requires very few ingredients. We're going to need a bowl of stinging nettles, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then optional extras, a peppermint tea bag, interesting, some cedar, fresh cedar, and some rosemary. Step one, head outside into the fresh air and gather yourself some lovely stinging nettles. Take some scissors with you and some gloves because you don't want to get stung. Chip off the tops of your nettles and then leave them outside for about 20 minutes and let all the bugs run away. Run your nettles under cold water. Now add your nettles to a saucepan. Add two cups of water. One, two. I'm going to add four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This helps to preserve your nettle tonic. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's our optional extras. So we found ourselves some lovely cedar. If you're not sure about identification and where you might find some, check out our cedar video, which tells you all about it. We're going to use cedar in this natural nettle hair tonic because it's antifungal, which is amazing. Give it a chip a chop. It smells incredible. You'll often find cedar used in lots of hair care products because of the scent. Wow, I can really smell it now I'm chopping it up. Cedar can also help to rebalance the natural oils in your hair. Now it's time for our rosemary. I've got about six sprigs of rosemary here that I've collected from my garden. It smells amazing. I love rosemary. Rosemary is amazing for your hair being super shiny and it promotes your hair to grow and adds volume. Pop your rosemary in your pan. Now we're going to add peppermint, and if you run out of peppermint in your garden, like we have, you can use a peppermint tea bag. I'm going to use two because it smells amazing, and peppermint is so good at getting rid of dandruff and really cleaning your scalp. Pop two tea bags in, and mix, mix, mix. Get it all covered in water. We're going to turn the temperature up to full and bring our water to a boil. The reason why stinging nettles are so amazing is because they're packed full of vitamin C, antioxidants, vitamin A, iron, and they're rich in silica, which helps the hair to regrow. Stinging nettles have been found to be responsible for reducing the concentration of dihydrotestosterone, a male and female hormone responsible for some types of hormonal hair loss. When you dive into the science of stinging nettles, it's amazing. Once it's been boiling for a few minutes, turn off the heat and let it cool and infuse overnight. Look at that. It's been overnight infusing away. Now we're going to strain it through our sieve and into this jug. Oh, it smells really good. It's like a lovely hair product, ready to spritz. So we're going to get our bottle. The 
This will last for up to two weeks in the fridge. Or you could make batches up and freeze it. Yeah. And there we have it. Ta-da! Stingy nettle hair tonic. The powers of nettles in a bottle. <laughs> make your hair even more beautiful than it already is. <laughs> so guys, how do you use stingy nettle hair tonic? Mm. Well, what you do is in the morning, you have a little spritz mm. on your head and then a little massage into the scalp. All that goodness into your head. Smells nice. It's about 30 seconds. And then you just leave it in, okay. let all the goodness do its work and do the same in the evening. So once in the morning, once in the evening, 30 second head massage <laughs> <laughs> and your luscious locks will be growing in no time. You get all the benefits of the nettles in your hair. Or you can use it as a hair tonic. So just before you shampoo your hair, wash, 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 wash with this and then rinse it out and then shampoo as normal. Put in my beard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Massage it in. Ah, oh, it's nice, like herbal tea in my beard. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. It there is. you go. I like it. And the rosemary's going to give it some shine. Nice and shine. Some volume. Some volume. The cedar makes might it make smell manly. Might make my moustache grow. Oh, yeah, let's do a bit in there. <laughs> 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 Anyways, people, it's been a pleasure. Yes, and if you'd like to see any more of our recipes or you'd like to know more about nettles, then yeah. head over to Amazon, our book's over there. There it uh -huh. is. And check out our video all about nettles and all our other nettle recipe videos. All for free on YouTube. All for free on YouTube. Or, of course, check out our book, Knowledge of Forage, over there because it's awesome. Um, follow us on Facebook where you'll hear all the cool things that we're up to. Yeah, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, but most importantly of all, look after yourself. Peace. Peace.